some studies would estimate that maybe 18 to 20 percent of patients have moderate to severe calcification that may make it really difficult for treatment. In the past, some of these patients have never even been a part of clinical trials, so we have some real questions as to how to treat them best. There is some technology, and we're talking about it today. And the issue here is with uh, Dr. Richard Schlafmitz, who is an MD, and he is a chairman of the Department of Cardiology at St. Francis Hospital at the Heart Center in Roslyn, New York. And we're talking about treatment of severely calcified coronary lesions with the coronary uh, orbital atherectomy system, but this is the, metro, the microcrown and its early results from the COAST trial. So we have the microcrown, we have the, uh, the regular crown. Talk about the technology first to make sure we understand where we're at. Well, drug eluting stents change the business of angioplasty. The results are, are fantastic. But the enemy of a coronary interventionalist is calcium. Um, you can uh, stent a vessel and get it open, but if you don't pre-treat calcified lesions, the long-term results are gonna be compromised because you don't get full stent expansion. And calcium is grossly underestimated by angiography. Unless you do intravascular imaging with IVIS or OCT, you really don't know the extent of calcium and the difficulty it is to obtain excellent results with a stent. So um, CSI orbital atherectomy has changed that game. And their first device shown with the Orbit trial used a sanding device to pre-treat a lesion to get um, change in morphology in the vessel wall to let, let stent expansion. This new trial with this new product adds to that where you still have the effect of orbital sanding, but you have a burr at the tip of the vessel, so for very highly calcified lesions that are difficult to cross, it gives you that same advantage that other atherectomy devices have. So the classic crown came first. Classic came from ours. And now this one is different in terms of? It's different in a couple of ways. There are some minor adju adjustments to the um, efficacy of the device, but primarily you have a sanding tip at the tip of the um, catheter as well as a couple of centimeters back. So you get sanding to cross the most calcified lesions, but then can treat the um, calcified segment as you're going forward and backwards. I think in your own words, these are historically difficult to treat lesion subset of patients. So what are you finding with the COAST trial? Who are you looking at and then what are you finding? We're looking at the same um, cohort that the Orbit trial looked at, um, severely calcified lesions. And what you know is that in many other trials, these heavily calcified lesions are, are excluded. So when we look at the procedural efficacy and safety, um, of this trial, it's remarkable in that you're taking the most difficult calcified lesions and having extraordinary success um, at 30 days in low MACE with tremendous efficacy and safety. So where are you going in terms of number of patients and what do you want to find out? With the trial, we, um, with um, Orbit trial, we looked at uh, approximately 450 patients and with this trial, approximately 100 patients, and we were comparing the two in terms of pr uh, primary endpoint of safety and efficacy with 30-day MACE. And everything looks good so far. Very comparable to that. When you compare it to other studies, right. um, which were not using um, high-risk, highly calcified lesions, it's as good or better than other drug eluting stent or bare metal trials. What's your next step? Well, the next step is to get the world to realize that in order to get excellent angiographic results with stent optimization, you need to pretreat the vessel. And I think imaging is grossly underdone by interventionalists. And if you don't see something, you don't know what's going on. And when you do know what's going on, you have to address it. And 25 to 40 percent of vessels have some form of calcium that limit stent optimization. And I think um, pre-treating the vessels, especially with the absorbable platforms coming out, are going to be essential for stent success. Well, congratulations, first off. I'm glad to see the data. Will we be having uh, any additional data coming up soon, in like maybe ACC's uh, 2016 meeting? We're looking forward to getting some more data out there for you. We are at uh, CRT in Washington, D.C., and please check out the January, or I'm sorry, February 22nd issue of uh, Jack Interventions. That's where you have the abstracts for all of the sessions here at CRT. For Cardio Source World News, I'm Rick McGuire.